Let's write the fraction 6 eighths as a decimal. And we should note before we start, we could reduce this or simplify it further. Because 2 goes into 6, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 4, that's 8. So we could simplify it. really doesn't matter too much when we're converting a fraction to a decimal, though. So we could divide 6 by 8 or 3 by 4 on a calculator, and you end up with 0 0.75. So the fraction 6 eighths, or 3 fourths, that's equal to the decimal, 0 0.75. We could also do this longhand. We could take 6 divided by 8 and figure out what fraction we get. Let's do that. So we have 6, and we want to know how many times does 8 go into 6. Well, it doesn't go into 6. Let's put 0 point, and then we could call this 60. 7 times 8, that's 56. We subtract and get 4. We're going to move over a decimal place, call this 40. 5 times 8, that's 40. That goes into 40 there evenly. So we end up with 0 0.75 as the decimal for the fraction 6 eighths. That's just what we found on the calculator. Not too surprising. If you want to check your work, you could multiply 0 0.75 times 4, and that would give you 3. Or you could multiply 0 0.75 times 8, and that would give you 6. Just another way to check your work. This is Dr. B converting the fraction 6 eighths to a decimal. It's 0 0.75. Thanks for watching.